Only on Fox here tonight, a woman with small kids claiming she's fleeing her abusive husband and needs help. It's all part of an elaborate scam many people have already fallen victim to. Fox 26's Randy Wallace is joining us live from River Oaks with what you should know tonight. Yeah, Anthony, now several people have posted on Facebook and Reddit to beware of two women who know how to tug at hearts to get other people's money. Who would lie about being a domestic violence victim and bring their kids into this? This woman, who asked not to be identified, recently met the scammer in this parking lot on West Gray at Dunlavey. I'm fleeing for my husband. I don't know where I'm going. Like, can you just help me find the women's center? And I told her where it was. And she said they're full and they don't take dogs. Then the con artist asked the woman to call a number, a supposed agency that helps domestic violence victims. Why did she tell you that she wanted you to call that number? She said, I don't have my phone with me and I didn't want my husband to track me. I'm, I'm scared. The scammer on the phone was just as convincing, this woman says. For two weeks, we can find mom a safe place to go, the Safe Harbor Hotel. It's going to be $163 plus, plus tax. This woman lost a total of $250. What if that was a big scam? And I've even felt bad for thinking it. After a Google search, she realized it was indeed a big scam. Beware. They are preying on those kind, compassionate hearts. Trauma therapist Chow Wen spent years working for a domestic violence organization. It's easy to fall for it. How can you not fall for it when you meet a woman who says, I'm desperate. I'm a domestic violence survivor. I don't have a place to stay. Can you please help? A woman posted on Facebook she fell victim to the same scam last month after being approached in the parking lot of this Kroger on West Gray at Woodhead. She wrote, the two women put on a really good show. Late last year, another woman fell for it in the Kroger parking lot on West 20th. A year ago, someone posted on Reddit, if a woman with kids asks you to help her get into a safe harbor hotel to flee an abusive husband, don't give her $163. Stories verbatim to mine. Now, uh, at least two victims have filed police reports. Officers are trying to find surveillance video and a license plate number. Reporting live from, West, from River Oaks, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.